Hi Capricorn, welcome to November 2024's tarot reading. We're going to be asking the oracle and tarot what's coming towards you, what is going to benefit you greatly to know about. Um, and we're going to start right here with oracle. If you guys, you know the drill, a lot of you guys, if you'd like for me to pray for you, say hi in the comments section. I love to do that for you. Um, even if it's an emoji, that works too. And you guys are welcome to pray for each other. That's what this whole channel is all about, is just putting that good vibe right back out there and we need it right now like oh, natural disasters and politics and p diddy what the hell guys don't open one of those videos because the algorithm will just keep on sending you more p diddy videos and then your life will suck so this is in light of all that let's lift our vibrations so um we're starting with the angels of abundance deck asking What's coming towards Capricorn? What do they need to know about for their highest good? November 2024, we have obstacles and blocks are lifted. Right on. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. It's about time, you guys. You've had a lot of readings in this year about just like getting past hurdles, working through it, you know, lifting yourself up by your bootstraps type of energy, transformation. Um, this is going to be an extended, by the way. So for the, those of you who like shorter videos, I'm going to pack a ton in this one and hopefully that'll, um, that'll itch that, that'll scratch that itch. <laughs> And for those of you who want to follow me on to the larger uh, reading, then go ahead and where is my vocabulary today? Those who want the extended, go ahead and follow the link in the description box below. It's about the price of a cup of coffee. All right, you guys, we have the message of the Natach. Stay grounded and welcome the new knowledge and perspective coming to you. I wouldn't be surprised if you, surprised if you got some swords. Swords represent communication too. Why am I bumbling? interesting this is intended for the day that you see this message whenever that is i am honest with myself and others so yeah there's swords energy all over that let's see where this goes so what's coming towards my capricorn november 2024 of course only take it if it resonates you guys you have free will don't give all your power away to paper this is merely an exploration tool, right? So pay attention to yourself. A lot of people like to journal, and write down thoughts and visions, ideas that come to them while they're watching a, a video, a YouTube video. All right, what's well, coming towards my Capricorns? November 2024. We only take the cards that fly out up in, uh, on the table. Nice, Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups. I'm gonna give you a general outlook and then we'll unpack all of this. Nice. Bear with me. Nine of Wands. All right, you guys. So we start out with kind of this resilient but tenacious energy. So a little bit tired out, but really wanting to see the fruits of one's labor, really wanting to reap the rewards of your investments and what you put into something. So you're willing to build a long-term strategy, but this is a point where you're kind of taking a pause and analyzing things. You're stepping back from what you've been doing and you're saying, has it been enough? Do I need to change it? Do I need to tweak things here and there to get a better result? And it's undoubtedly with kind of an exhausted energy that you're doing this with, but it's also an, a defensive energy, kind of like what's around the corner. But what I love about this is that there's still this resilience uh, resiliency to it and then quickly following that in succession is succession is the strength card uh, the strength card is talking about getting your way in a non-aggressive uh, uh, approach it's patience and compassion even while at the same time having to use every bit of your strength to keep on going um, it's mastery over the wild side of you and that's why it's represented 
with the lion and the woman. Now she's not forcing his mouth open. He's actually wanting to open his mouth um, for her. It's, it's a choice. And so there's negotiation attached to this. There's grace attached to this energy. There's patience with oneself because there's the impulsive side that wants to crank open the lion's mouth. And then there's the other side of yourself who's, who knows there's, that's not going to be a good result if I do that. <laughs> you know? How can we do this in another way? So it's inner strength. We'll open that up a little bit more with more cards, but we've got the hangman energy. This is a slow energy. Again, we have the message of patience coming through, but this is about getting a different perspective. So we have um, Knight of Cups coming forward with an offer. I'd like to find out what they're offering and, and dive into who the heck that is. Then we have um, an emotional recovery. It's like slow healing. In the meantime, it might feel like you're drifting. It might feel like things are just not um, solid. Things haven't really landed. Things aren't grounded. Things feel like they're kind of floating and up in the air. There's an energy of that. But it is undoubted that you are healing and that things are getting better. It just, I think that you'd feel a little bit better if things were on the ground more, if things felt a little more connected. We have, um, regardless of what's going on inside with that, we have the Queen of Wands energy. This could represent your energy, most likely, or it could represent another energy that is connected to this. And this is somebody who's very self-assured. So this tells me that while you may feel unhinged a little bit, and kind of working on your own recovery, but kind of feeling like you're drifting on the inside. On the outside, you're you're very much coming off as somebody who is um, confident and sure of what they want. And that feels like a good thing. So it's got a little bit of a fake it till you make it energy. We have Ace of Cups and Queen of Cups. That's going to be interesting to unpack. This is an offer. This is like an opportunity uh, that um, has landed in your lap. Specifically, it feels like somebody else. It doesn't feel like your energy. This feels like um, somebody who is emotionally intuitive, maybe creative, very nurturing, kind of watery energy. Could even be a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, what is this energy? Let's like not wait around. Let's just see what the heck this is. Now, again, there's some there's some slowness to this, so patience is required. But when this offer lands in your lap, whether it's by, it, it looks like it's a relationship. It could very well be romantic for some of you guys. It doesn't have to be though. But when this lands for you, it is a sure thing. It's 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 not a flaky offer, and that's why it's also taking its time. With the energy of the Knight of Pentacles. This comes forward only once they evaluated the situation, they analyzed it, they feel comfortable, it's the right timing. That's why the horse is standing still. Symbolically, it's saying, hey, it's taking its time um, just because it's trying to make steady progress. Um, it's the opposite of impulsive, right? Anything else about this for my copies? And there is definitely, now this is where it gets interesting because while the offer is true and pure, Attached to it is a decision where there's mental conflict. This could be you having mental conflict about receiving this offer. It would mean juggling things. There's some confusion. So maybe um, for some of you guys, that's going to be priorities around your schedule, or it could be a priorities around your emotions. Do I trust this? Um, how do I keep all of this in balance type of thing with the two of swords and the two of pentacles? I will definitely dive into that on the extended. <laughs> I'm curious. Seven of Wands. Sticking by your convictions around something you're learning. You're learning. So November is going to be about getting clarity on some stuff. For some of you guys, that will be literally an epiphany, an aha moment. Some of you guys, that will be a conversation. But it's going to be... Um, that got interesting. One sec. You're going to be reworking your approach to a collaboration. I think that you, a lot of you guys are realizing in November, this is important. I want to make it very clear. You guys are realizing in November that you've been in a collaboration that is not providing sufficient support with the three of pentacles upside down. And from that place, you immediately get into transformation manifestation mode. You're immediately changing it. 
and you are very strong in your convictions. So I, I would say pause the video now and check with yourself. Does that apply to something in your life? Because I feel like you know. If you, you know, if your instincts are telling you, you know what, walk away from this partnership or this collaboration, there's a reason. And I want to empower you with that. And also, be honest with yourself if it, is, if it feels a bit like BS, right? Let's move forward. I want to get a card out about the strength. We're going to start with a new deck because we've used so many of these cards. Let's talk about this strength. I just don't want all these cards to go flying. So I'm shuffling it on my lap. Real pro. So strength for my cappies. Okay, we keep getting this queen of wands. Yeah, fake it till you make it, boo. Fake it till you make it. You can look a little crazy on the inside, right? We've got this saying too in my other um, in my other industry um, where it's high pressure, but you work with clients and you're in a social environment and be a duck on water. And that means on, the, on, on top of the water, you're all smooth and gliding right through like the queen of wands. I got this. Oh, I got this. Underneath the water, you're like, holy shit! <laughs> Your little legs are going like this. And yes, with the nine of swords, that is some anxiety. That's some over, over analytical, overthinking, maybe up at night. And I'm so sorry if you've been losing some sleep. But this is where it counts. This is the strength. This is where that strength, a meaning of the non-aggressive way of controlling a situation. That's where the strength takes place. Is while you know, your legs want to talk to your, the rest of your body and say, Let, let's just break out. You know, that is where the strength is, is perception is really powerful. And you know that, you know that, and you know that if you are the queen of, of wands, I got a plan, I've got a vision, I got this confident, maybe even extroverted. If you're an introvert, like that type of stuff, your charisma is going to shine through. Um, it's almost like, the contradiction of those two energies brings out this rock star part of you that wouldn't normally be utilized. It's like under pressure, you're doing a great job. I just want to say that. Hanged man, hanged man. Perception is key. Stick by your convictions. It's, impo it's important that right now you're going to be um, discerning around something. What are you discerning around this event, this tower moment? Tower moments are really important in life because they actually have good intentions behind them. They don't normally feel comfortable because tower moments are basically the moment where everything kind of gets torn down. Your reality gets torn down by an event usually. And so it, while it can be something so small or it could be something big. It's something that was out of control, out of your control. And that's where it gets a little uncomfortable because human beings, we like to be controlling everything, right? Make ourselves safe in the world. But um, what you can control is how you react to it. And this is saying you should be dis discerning in this moment. Um, what is illusion in your perception and what is real? And we have a lot of ways as humans, because we want to control everything, make ourselves safe, of kind of painting an illusion over something, right? Kind of a facade, a veneer. And so this is an opportunity to question that and get a different perspective. And that's what this tower moment, this event that you didn't have control over, has granted you. It's almost revealed what is illusion. I love the Six of Cups. That's a very positive energy coming through. It's showing you what really matters. For some of you guys, that is your children. That is your family. It's showing you at the end of the day what really freaking matters. And that ties directly back to her, the Strength card. That boosts her energy. That reminds her, you know, not to freak out. To, uh, to keep cool. You got a bigger vision. You got a bigger plan. Knight of Cups. It's a very interesting reading for you guys. Knight of Cups. Yeah, so, oh boy, this is like being the bigger person all the way, you guys. Because in an energy, in the face of an energy that is impulsive, even kind of sharp-tongued, um, kind of aggressive communication, where it's really disappointing. Like, whatever they're saying to you, whatever this message is conveying to you, it's disappointing. 
like universally, anybody would agree. But you meet that with this compassion. You don't let it, them see you cry. You don't let them see your feathers get ruffled, right? Even if you're going like this under the water. One more about this. What's gonna help my Capricorns? And that's leading to your happiness, okay? So if I were to, we're gonna go into the extended, but for those of you who are not following me, one of the most precious messages about your reading, there's two, and I want you to take these away for, with you. Uh, sorry for the diesel trucks. This is the land of diesel trucks in the background. Um, you're going to be made very happy if you can keep up that balance using your strength. You can keep up the balance between the need to let your stress get to you and keeping cool, calm, and collected on the outside. Fake it till you make it. It's not gonna last forever at all, but it's leading you, don't let them see you sweat. It's leading you to a very happy place. The other thing is discernment is important, specifically around this partnership where you're getting insufficient, insufficient support or recognition. You need to follow your own intuition Follow your own convictions. If you're feeling very strongly for something, about something, there's a reason. You're getting clarity in November for about that, okay? And it's all going to be totally fine because it gives you an opportunity to imagine something new, to actually re-manifest um, that support. And it's like, it might be part of what was an illusion. So you're getting a chance to tweak things and rebalance them in the month of November. All right, you guys, sending you off with love. Take good care. I hope to see you in the extended.